Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials. My name is Richard Evans and today I want to show you how to work with growing files. So with a typical TriCaster broadcast scenario, you're streaming your show, you're recording it, switching your camera angles, yada yada yada. But say that you wanted to go back after the fact and take those ISO recordings from your TriCaster and cut say a highlight reel or just trim it up and edit a nice little package together. Well that means you'd have to stop your recordings and, or wait for your broadcast to finish in order to grab those files. But not anymore. You can now access your files while they're being written and use those in Premiere Pro to start cutting together that footage before your broadcast is even done. So let's dive in and take a look. Alright, so here we are in the TriCaster TC1 interface and before we get started, I put a little lower third here of a clock just to show you that I'm going to be recording this and having some time coming out. So. Uh, what we need to do next is configure our recordings to be re recorded to uh, like a shared drive or a network attached storage. So you can do this uh, however you want. Uh, if you want to just share a folder on the uh, local TriCaster drive uh, and have access to that or have a network attached storage or better yet use some of the new tech remote storage. That's another way you can do it. So let's go ahead and I'm going to navigate to my shared folder here and I'm going to make a new folder and just call this growing files. Okay? So I'm going to be recording just to that particular folder and I'm only going to be recording my mix number one. Alright? Now just while I have some movement in the background, let me go ahead and throw up my new tech logo. Okay? And let's start recording to that shared drive. Alright? So now we are off and running. So now let me move over to my Premiere machine here. And now what I want to do is I want to access these files. So in order to do that, what I'll need to do is go to File and Import. And then I'm going to navigate to that folder, which is, again was called Growing Files. And boom, there is my file which is currently writing. And you can see as it's writing that the size of that gets a little bit bigger each time. So we'll go ahead and open that and drag that over to my timeline. And right now, I only have you know, just a few seconds because I just started doing all this, okay? So, now what I want to do is show you, because uh, right now we just brought that into uh, Premiere, and that's pretty much all we have is this 32 seconds of video. But, we can tell Premiere to monitor this file to where I can continually edit it while I'm within Premiere, and while that recording is still going. So, we'll go up to the top here and click on Edit. Then we'll go to Preferences, and then click on Media. All right, now within this window, at the very bottom is the only thing we need to focus on. And there's an option here for Growing Files. So we can uh, click a, this checkbox next to it to where we can automatically refresh Growing Files. And we'll put this one as well. And then we can refresh those Growing Files however often you want. I just have mine set to 20 seconds. All right. So, uh, again, all I had before was just my 32 seconds here, but now that I have that enabled, check this out. I can now extend that for as long as I've been recording. So, again, this file is still being written off the, the uh, network attached drive that I uh, cut this to, but now I can go through and start cutting it up and making my broadcast all directly from this interface. So no longer do I need to wait for my broadcast to be over in order for me to get access to these files. So as you can see, this is a great way to manage your time and start editing things even before your broadcast is over, which is great. Now, if you like this tutorial but want a little bit more, make sure you visit newtech.com slash demo for a free personalized TriCaster demonstration hosted by me, Richard Evans. Also be sure to follow us and tag us in your Instagram posts. We love to see how people are using TriCasters and NDI into their broadcasts. Also, for more videos like this, visit our YouTube page at youtube.com slash newtechinc. And until then, thank you for watching, and be sure to tune in next time for another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials.